Hey, it's Johnny Eckerder. Hope you're doing well. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're playing Pal World. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. If you've been on YouTube at all, it's pretty popular right now. And I decided I want to try it out. So it's basically like Minecraft, but also Pokemon, but also if it was Fortnite at the same time, because they are guns. So it seems like kind of a wild game. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it out. I went for the classic old man build. I tried to make him look old, but I mean, he kind of just looks, he doesn't look too old, but you know what? Oh, well, so we're in the game here and I haven't played before and um, uh, hopefully I can figure it out. Oh my gosh. And they have a shotgun. Wow. I, can I get me one of those? Oh, how nice. They gave me some basic supplies, which is uh, just wood. Okay. All right, so I got my uh, workbench here that I need to build, which is uh, basically just a crafting station as far as I'm concerned. But uh, here we go, we gotta build this, and then this is the thing that'll let me build everything else, like a pickaxe, axe, and whatnot. And so let's see what we can get here. We can get club, heck yeah. All right, so with my uh, stone, I'm gonna make a stone axe and a pickaxe. So that way I can start doing stuff a little bit more efficiently here. Oh, sick chest. Oh, and a, what is this? Is this like a card? Oh, it's a journal. So probably like lore. Too bad I don't really care about that right now. Oh, golden bread. Heck yeah. All right, so here's the journal. You can read it if you want. Basically, it's just the story of the Pal Sphere and like this dude that came here and kind of figured out how the Pal Sphere worked. And he's the one that named on the Pals. We don't know who it is yet, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go try and get one of these sheeps. I think they're called lamb balls or whatever. So, I don't know, you gotta weaken them first. Let me just, sorry about this, but I kinda need to capture you. Heck yeah. So I got my first pal there, and then I think I can throw it back out if I use E. There we go, I got my first pal, nice. And so these pals will help me once I get a base, will help me do stuff around the base, like help me craft and whatnot so it doesn't take as long, which should be dandy. I'm probably gonna get another crafting table down so I can, do I take fall damage? Huh, I don't know if I do. Um, either way though, I'm gonna get a crafting table down, that way I can make more pal spheres, even though I just found one. Oh, I did, oh, I, ooh, that's my bad. Um, it'll be fine. Get one more. Oh. Heck yeah, capture a hundred. I just got two pals already. So in theory, so I gotta build this this box here, but I think if I throw, yeah, they'll build it for me. And then if I also help build, then it builds even quicker. So that's nice. Let's build some more pal spheres here. Effigy, nice. Don't know what that does, but. Oh, and offer them to a statue of power to improve your ability to capture pals. Neat. Oh man, apparently stone is uh, quite heavy. It weighs 135 pounds. Also, I'm a very fit old man because I can carry 350 pounds just always with me. So uh, that's quite good. Um, I need to find somewhere to kind of get a base. Otherwise, I'm, I can't run when I have this much stone on me. So I have some technology. I'm gonna get this wooden chest and just put this here for now. I also got the pal box, but I'm gonna get this wooden chest for now. That way I can actually put some stuff in here and come help me out, pal. Thank you. Also, do if I put berries in here? Okay, it. I think that's probably a bug, um, but when I move them back and forth, they reset the timer. Also, just a note, this game is still in early access, so obviously there's things like this where it could just, like, oh man, this, this food's running out, let me just reset that real quick. Um, so yeah, this game is still in early access, so obviously there's things like that that um, are like a bug. Um, but either way, let me just move this over as well, and now I can actually move. It's starting to become night, I would not mind making a bed. Just gonna get me another pal real quick. Hey, hey, come back, stop. Stop running. Ah. Oh, okay. I see why I need the bow now. Ooh. I'm trying to catch these hands. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm out of stamina. That's awkward. Oh, shoot. My lamb ball is going crazy. Ow. Okay. Chill. Relax. No, my lamb ball killed it. Come here. 
You just killed a level three one, man. Okay, cash rate a hundred. Oh, I am cold. Okay. Oh, I don't even have to light it. Sick. All right. I should now be able to build me a bed. Heck yeah. Not the best placement, but it doesn't really matter because I'm probably just going to tear this all down later. But either way, I should be able to sleep through the night here. <laughs> Even though I think I just realized the night's almost over, but you know what? We'll get a nice sleep in. So I'm building myself a stone spear. Hopefully I can get some better pals with this. I want to get some clothing. Holy cow, that thing's taller than I am. It's in. It's basically touching the ground. Oh my goodness. Can I capture you? Come on. Okay, relax. Come on, please. Yes. Heck yeah. Okay, can you? I'm just gonna get, get out of here. Yeah, get him. Ooh. Just gonna try that. Come on, I win these. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know how two wool got me this whole outfit. Bit, but I mean, I'll take it, bro. It looks snazzy. All right, so I've leveled up twice, so I can now get some more stuff. And I want to get this Fox Sparks harness because you can use it with the Fox Sparks, and that basically just turns it into a flamethrower, which is uh seems quite nice in my opinion. And then I wouldn't mind getting a parachute because I think, obviously, since this is in the game, I'm going to assume that there's fall damage, so it'd probably be best if I had that. I'm first going to build a pal box though, because it seems like I'm probably going to be around here for a while, so I might as well build one, I suppose. Alright, so now I can put pals in here, and like with the, the lamb balls, they should have a, a tendency to like drop wool and stuff, and also work around the base, I think. So that should be nice, and so this is also a fast travel location, it looks like. Oh, dude's gathering stuff for me. Heck yeah, bro. I feel like I've seen this glider from somewhere. Oh, shoot. That's a boss. Holy cow, they got a lot of help. I want to leave you for now. I would not mind trying to capture you, though. I would rather not die, please. And my fox barks died. Oh, gosh. I gotta get out of here. I think I can fast travel. I don't know how, though. I'm dead. Oh, my gosh. Dropped all items and equipment? Come on, man. Oh, shoot. You trying to catch these hands, brother? Okay, this might have been a bad idea. This dude looks strong. Wow, this guy is beefy as heck. Holy. Come on. That spear does, like, no damage. Oh, I'm going to die if I keep this up. Come on. Please, please, please. Yes. Heck yeah. That is huge. And I think I might be able to fly. I think I can get a harness, and then that's this is a pal that I can fly, I believe, which would be incredible. Oh shoot, bro got knocked out. Shoot, this dude. Oh my goodness, relax. Oh, I think they're dead. You know what? Come here. Hey, 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 hey! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Heck yeah, I think I got him. He was super low, so if he breaks out, then that's just... Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I got him. Heck yeah, let's go! And I got leather, which is something I need, so that is a huge win. I think, though, that that kind of deer-looking thing that I just captured, I believe I can ride, though. But I got this Fox Barks harness, so now if I go to Fox Barks, deploy him right here, fiery hug. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that is gonna, that's gonna do some damage. Okay, heck yeah, cook him. Okay, that yet again is not as much as I was hoping that would do. Still pretty good. My land balls are getting in here too. I'm now gonna. Oh, I just threw a, a pal ball by accident. Okay, you get in there. Come on, bro, is so weak. Surely I get him. Huge. Let's go! Um, either way though, I got the, my pals, so I got the stone pit, and now these guys will harvest stone for me, so I won't have to do it. Um, I'm gonna get like the logging one as well, so they can start getting wood for me as well. But I also got this crusher, which um, will like transfer materials into like other things, so, like five stone will go into propaldium. 
So that's pretty cool. It says it needs water though, so I don't know. There's not really a pick up and move feature, so I think I kind of just have to make it, I guess. And I'll, I just need to hope it gives my stuff back. All right, so it doesn't give any of my materials back. Oh, what is this? Get away from my base. Also, I tried building this thing in the water. You can't build it in the water, so I'm assuming you need a pal to um row or like to use this. So first things first, uh, my pal box I can now upgrade. Oh, it actually looks like I can upgrade it again because I did so many things and I just got to level seven. So that's the tutorial almost done. And uh, so I built this statue of power or whatever it's called, enhanced pals, enhanced players. Oh, so these are the pal souls, so I can uh, enhance my pals that I have. I don't quite know how it works. Oh, so I can either do health, attack, defense, works. Can... Okay, that seems quite handy if I enhance mine. Oh, capture power. Oh, and that's with the effigies, I believe. So, uh, yeah, why not? Four next, holy cow, okay. Jeez, all right. Um, either way though, pretty good. I got the lumbering thing, so it's capturing, or it's getting wood for me, getting stone as well. All right, so I've kept on working a little bit off camera, just getting stuff ready to kind of leave. So a lot of pal spheres, a lot of arrows. Oh, and this will protect me. So I actually will invest in that to get some more. I guess I'll get the primitive furnace because that'll let me smelt down ores and then I'll get the three shot bow just because that sounds awesome. Sick, and my pal just finished this three shot bow for me. So now that I have that, I'm going to get rid of this old bow because boring. Oh, the old bow does, does more damage. This one only does 40, but I'm assuming since it shoots three in a row, if all of them hit, then that would, in theory, be more. All right, there we go. Got my feather headband, so that's going to give me some more defense. Oh, wait. Yeah, it says hairband, but it's actually earrings, I guess. Or one earring. I guess. Doesn't add up, but I guess if it gives me more defense, then I'm not one to complain. Ooh, Malapaka. Don't mind if I do. Pulling out the big guns for this guy. Come here. W. Heck yeah, let's go. Fun fact, you can actually capture the humans as well. Um, I'm not going to because if you start attacking them, then they can, like, guards can show up and then they'll start attacking you. So right now, I think I'm just going to be friendly. So I want to get to this tower. It's got one of those statues. And the last part of the tutorial is challenge a boss at the Syndicate's tower. I don't know if this is where that is. Okay, this is the tower. Oh, there's thugs here. All right, let's go for it, I guess. I hope it's not too hard. It's part of the tutorial, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Hmm, who are you? Oh, is this like kind of like a gym boss like in the normal Pokemon games? I'm assuming that this is what this is. Yeah, this is definitely what this is. No, not Grizzbolt. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 30,000 XP? Ow, oh my gosh. Fast travel back, so I'm gonna do that and hope my stuff isn't inside. Okay, it looks like it's outside, luckily. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I was gonna be like, I don't wanna have to go back in just to get my stuff. Um, guess I'm not ready for that. Oh, I can get some metal pickaxes and stuff, though, which is huge. Buddy, what's up? I would not mind capturing you. Uh, oh, so it looks like I just get the pal automatically. I don't have to capture it, so... That's lovely. I don't even have to do any of the work. Oh, this looks like a little boss. What are you? Pansy? Yeah, I'll capture you two. Why not? Okay, let's see how much damage that does. Okay, actually does damage. That's good. Oh, pretty good. Ouch. Not if I die, though. No, too much! Oh, I wanted to capture it. Oh, that is depression. Dang it. 
That is tragic. That is actually tragic. Also, I now have this ancient technology point so I can get like this egg incubator. I haven't found any pal eggs though, so I don't know if I'll get that right now because I could also get a grappling gun, which kind of sounds way cooler. I also can now get this saddle, assault rifle. Okay, I might have to get both of those because those both sound sick. And the armor. Oh man, okay, I have a lot of stuff. So I think the first thing I'm gonna get is this saddle. All right, so I just made a saddle for this dude. So now I can ride on the heck yeah, look at that. That's gonna make transporting everything, moving around so much easier and I can attack. Whoa, okay, that guy's quick. Okay, so that is, this is gonna be super nice. Can jump and everything like that. So super dandy, made the saddle for this. I made the upgraded workbench. So now I have like a stone or a metal pickaxe and a metal ax. Oh, the other thing I did, I just remembered is I got some better armor. So I have more defense and more health. That doesn't seem to be helping me a lot in this situation. So not ideal. All right, so I just finished my pansy's assault rifle. All right, so I think I finished up everything I've wanted to do at the base. I think I've crafted basically everything. I got this uh, metal spear and for comparison, this does 80 attack and this only did 45. So, or no, 35. So definitely a lot better. It does way more, which is a bit unfortunate. It's gonna take up more space. Large dark egg. Get him. Dude, it's aim is terrible. This is. I don't want to say that it wasn't worth it, but this cost like nine ingots or something. Um. And I don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> Alright, we got this pal incubator now, so I should be able to set that in there. It's gonna take 30 minutes. Probably won't have enough time in this video to see what it is, but that'll probably be the first thing in the next video. We'll see what uh, hatches out of it. But overall, I'd say it's a really good start. We got a whole big base set up here. I don't love the base setup. I don't love the location and whatnot, but at this point, it's getting like it's too much, uh, too much work to move. Though it does seem like I could get another base because it says max number of bases. So I'm assuming at some level I would be able to get two. And so then maybe I'll have two bases somewhere. So maybe I'll just stick with this one for now. Either way though, I'd say that was a pretty good um first episode. I got, I feel like a lot done. Um, Captured a lot of pals, a lot of pretty good pals I'd say, especially those three right there. But sadly, that will have to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I appreciate you subscribe. If you like, like the video, new videos every Thursday. And remember to stay jolly.